Welcome to lesson two of Western literature. And uh, we are doing uh, poetry uh, today. And I've chosen two of um, two of the best Western poets known to man outside of Shakespeare. Uh, and that would be uh, Emily Dickinson and Walt Whitman. Uh, Emily Dickinson wrote uh, Success is Counted Sweetest, uh, which is a uh, wonderful poem about um, how the people who fail um, appreciate success uh, more than anyone else. And um, the illustration she uses for this is a fallen soldier of a, a member of the losing army in a battle. Uh, and the, uh, the fallen soldier is discovered by uh, one of the soldiers of the... Uh, the winning side, and um, the soldier feels that he has failed, and the um, the winning soldier uh, uh, makes sure that he understands that the important thing is that he tried, and um, that's uh, and that he was successful uh, because he tried, and uh, that's a very important lesson for all of us to learn. And Emily Dickinson illustrates this <clears throat> beautifully in her poetry. Uh, the second uh, great Western poet that I'd like to uh, introduce today is uh, Walt Whitman. <clears throat> Walt Whitman wrote a poem called Oh Captain, My Captain. And uh, this poem was about uh, the, uh, the death of Abraham Lincoln and how it affected uh, the nation at the time. Um, the uh, the death of Lincoln was quite a shock to America in uh, that year. And uh, Walt Whitman's poem uh, beautifully illustrates the shock and dismay and um, uh, horrified uh, feelings of the American public to the assassination of Abraham Lincoln. So uh, if you really wanna know how Americans felt about Abraham Lincoln during that time, read this poem. So uh, these are the two illustrations I'd like to give you for tonight. Uh, until next time, this is uh, Professor Teferro for Western Literature, uh, wishing you a happy and healthy day. Take care. Bye-bye.